sa isang araw lang ang selebrasyon ng ika-100 at 15 anibersaryo ng Philippine Independence. Sa Dublin, binigyang kulay ang selebrasyon sa pagsama-sama ng mga Pinoy at ibang lahi sa ika-10 Filipino Day. Nagkantahan at nagsayawan ang mga kababayan at bisita at naghandog ng interfaith prayer. Nagsaya rin ang mga Pinoy sa Turkey, sa Fiesta Celebration at cultural program na pinangunahan ng embahada. Nagpasiklaban sa pagsayaw at pag-awit ang Filipino community sa Ankara. Lupa ng araw ng walhati pagsinta, buhay langit sa piling mo. Aming ligaya na magmay mga aksente mo. weather today. <laughs> Sana hindi umulan. I hope it doesn't rain. Today we're celebrating the 115th is us Filipinos the opportunity not just to showcase songs that will highlight just how enchanting Filipino culture is. Team ngayon ay ambagan tungo sa malawakang kaunlaran or pitching in towards inclusive growth. Maraming magandang development sa Pilipinas ngayon, yung ating eleksyon. Thank you very much for joining uh, our campaign to vote and also for voting. Among the 12 senators, the top two are ladies. And of the 12, four ladies came out. For the embassy, we also have our own program. Like for example, uh, we encourage Filipinos. We also invited social security executives, also pag-ibig, so that we will be encouraged to be able to manage more our income and our uh, resources. Also escaped from a Middle East employer, uh, was also approached by the Turkish couple, also taken in the house, also uh, contacted the embassy, and also gave her money to be able to reach the embassy, and even talk to the driver of the bus to take care of the Filipina. So my impression is uh, we're very fortunate because Nobody tells them, nobody tells the Turkish people to do that. They just, the Filipina did not approach them. The Turkish people approached the Filipina. The Filipinos in Singapore, in Middle East, in Hong Kong. Filipino food festival and then uh, we also had uh, boat trips in order for the Filipinos who are living here to appreciate the house of the Blessed Virgin Mary the last abode of the Blessed Virgin Mary is in Ephesus and uh, we hold big pilgrimages there every year the International uh, Filipino Friendship Society proudly presents this plaque of appreciation to Her Excellency uh, Marilyn Ararilia, Ambassador of the Republic of the Philippines in Turkey for the dedication and enthusiasm in fostering better relations 
and understanding of the cultures of Turkey and the Philippines. Consul of the Republic of the Philippines in Turkey for her passion in helping to relieve Filipinos in distress and enthusiasm in fostering better relations between Turkey and the Philippines. Given on the second day of June 2013, we would like to extend our deep appreciation for this heroic efforts. It's an honor to serve our countrymen. Thank you very much. Nagpapasalamat din ako sa ating mga officials ng ating imbahada. Mahal na ambasadora, si Madam Marilyn, sa kay Madam Consul, at sa lahat dito sa embassy ng Turkey. Dahil kung anong mga problema ng ating mga kababayan sa Istanbul, na pag lumapit ako sa kanila, pag tumawag ako sa kanila, automatic naman na binibigyan nila ako ng responde. Lalong lalo na nagpapasalamat din ako sa Panginoon dahil nagkaroon tayo ng honorary consul na paka-supportive. Whatever problem we had in the community, He is always there. Always we need to ask the guidance of God. Mahalin natin ang lahat, hindi lang sa ating mga kababayan, but of course we need to have a good relation to everyone. Dahil yun ang pinaka-importante sa lahat.